So today I'm gonna to tell you why I changed my mind about MTG's 30th anniversary reprint collector's edition product. I'm gonna tell you why I was originally optimistic about the product and what exactly led me to changing my mind. In my original video, I hit on some key points that really drew me to the product. I felt it was really important for reprints of power, even in unplayable form, to be kind of hard to get, to retain how special they are, to keep them a chase, even though they are modern reprints, similar to the old original versions. And I liked that they were expensive and randomized. They made it even harder to get, and the price of the old ones is really, really high. So I felt like if they're gonna be bringing them back in some form, there should be some kind of price attached to that to sort of validate just how special those old ones are. Now, here's where I think I got it wrong. After hearing from a lot of my commenters, and especially from listening to Rudy talk about this product on his channel, Alpha Investments. I really felt like even though my core tenets for why I like the product really still remain true. I mean, I feel like if they're gonna bring back some kind of reserve list power card, even if it's not gonna be playable, if it's gonna have some kind of collector's edition form, I do feel like there should be some kind of pretty good price attached to that. I don't think they should just be handed out for free. What I got to thinking was maybe that price was just a little bit too high. And I'm not sure how I feel about the randomization of the product and how few packs you get for that very steep price of around $1,000. Some users commented that you could actually pull a lot of stuff that's really not that great, like really a far cry from any piece of power. And what really drove it home and made me make a complete U-turn was when Rudy made his video last night, the one entitled, um, how's it going about the product? I'll put a link to that down in the description below. And he mentioned something like, you could get one piece of power, maybe two in one alpha booster box. So you'd have to be spending like eight to $10,000 to really guarantee a piece of power. Now I had made a follow-up video to my original discussion on the 30th anniversary product, talking about how you could buy Earthbinds and maybe a thousand dollars worth of Earthbinds is a better bet than just one single 30th anniversary four pack. And that maybe if you're gonna be going after this 30th anniversary product, you may as well just get four four packs or five four packs so you can really up your chance of getting something really special. Now you have to understand, I didn't grow up with Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, all those early classic old school sets. I grew up right when old school shooting star foils were really starting to become a thing around Mercedian mass. I played during invasion, plane shift. Odyssey was really a high point for me when I was playing Magic the Gathering. So that was my era. So now that I kind of understand just what we're dealing with, how hard it is to pull pieces of power and how much you're really risking by buying into this product, I just started thinking for $5,000, I can get some really, really nice old school shooting star foils in high grade, which I already chase and collect. And it just doesn't make sense. Why would I shell out that kind of money for four or five of these four packs, possibly not even get a piece of power, although I'm, I'm sure I'd probably get at least a couple dual lands or something, right? When I can just buy so much of what I've already been enjoying as an MTG collector. Many of you also noted that I could just buy a real piece of power for around that same amount. And that's a really good point. I don't own any pieces of power. So I thought it would be really cool. You know, I could shell out $1,000, $2,000, and I could actually own a legitimate Mox, not playable, but what I mean by legitimate is it is sponsored, is authorized, it is a legitimate Wizards of the Coast product. And that's okay with me as a collector because I'm not a player anyways. So you have to understand my perspective there. Now, another thing that Rudy brought up in his original response to the product is that there was some kind of rumor that they were maybe gonna make a product similar to the original collector's edition where you could spend $3,000 or some high price point like that and just get an entire collection. And I think they really dropped the ball. I think that would have been such an awesome product. Number one, at around that $3,000 mark, it still keeps these cards special and puts a premium on these cards that validates how special they are being a part of early magic history. You don't have to spend an insane amount of money to put together a whole set. There's no chance of taking a bath if you're just buying the whole collector set in one go. And here's the point that I think they really missed by not going with that variation of this product. It pays homage to that original collector's edition set that was released a long time ago. That would have been just an awesome throwback to these collector's edition cards. You can still put a high price point on it. And I think a lot of people would be a really uh, a lot happier with that. I can tell you that I would have no problem whatsoever spending $3,000 to get a complete collector's edition of these 30th anniversary reprints, having them in a binder and just really enjoying owning those. So I will no longer be buying this product and I don't really recommend others do so either. As a number of others have said, you can just buy original pieces of power that are actually playable for around the same price that you're gonna have to pay to maybe pull one of these things. And for me, even if I don't get a piece of power that I go after in the collectible space, even though honestly, 
I would think it would be cool to own one of these pieces of power from the 30th anniversary set. There's just too much other stuff that I think is going to be a better buy at this time than any number of these packs. Y'all can go watch my original, very optimistic response to news of the release of this product right over here. And I'll see you in my next one.